Mark, thank you for the support, the likes, and share in this year 2017. Thank you so much to you, Gemini. So, welcome all you Gemini's. I hope you will stay. Please like, share these videos. Um, please, please um, leave a message <laughs> over these videos. And I want to say to each and every person, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'm wishing you a wonderful, wonderful, positive year. Whatever the situation is in your life, trust me, this week is going to be wonderful because you have so many wonderful cards. You start the week with your own energy vibration. This week is the week of uh, the Hermit. This is good because it's a water week, it's emotion. The zodiac energy is going to be the energy of the hurt. You start a week with your own energy vibration of the lovers. Then you have the energy vibration of justice. So Monday and Tuesday uh, is going to be wonderful. And then in the middle of the week, you have the Prince of Cup, whatever is the energy with you and that Prince of Cups. And the and, and then you have the energy of the number seven with the energy of uh, um, the victory and success of the chariot. Then you have the nine of wands, that is the holy fire energy. Then you have the ace of pentacles, and then you have uh, the eight of swords in reverse. And this is wonderful. So congratulations! Whatever is happening, you have the energy. And so a lot of you here sign energy has the energy vibration of the king of cups or um, the queen of cups and you have the king of cups so let's see what the liberals are going to have so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls um, whatever is happening you are going to win against whoever this person is and whatever they however they they are in your life this could be a father figure this is going to be um, good whatever is happening it's going to be a very very positive week so um, um, justice that is good there's a balance on Thursday it's going to be a wonderful day so this is good and on Saturday you are going to be receiving a lot of money um, <clears throat> and promotions and that sort of a thing so let's go ahead and see what is going to be happening with the lovers you have the eight of swords with the lovers there's a situation that you're not very understanding with justice you have the energy of cruelty and you have the ace of wands um, against the prince of cups so with justice you had cruelty but you have the ace of wands to the prince of cups let's see what is happening with all oh, judgment so there's a judgment call but you are victorious and, and successful over this and then you have the two of swords which you're um, not seeing really properly you have the world the ace of Pentacles with the world congratulations um, it's gonna be wonderful whatever is happening with an organization that sort of a situation okay so you have the three of Pentacles you have a situation where you need to work with um, this um, King of Cups and this King of Cups could be your father it could be a business partner or it could be a friend so whoever is this King of Cups you need to work with this person to align certain aspect of what's wherever it is and it could be for some people who are at their work but this is more of with family and friends whatever is happening because it is an holiday week so um, you know even if you are not you know um, going to work it's a holiday week because it's Christmas Day and uh, the last day Sunday is uh, our dear's day so let's go and look forward the energy of the lovers you have a situation with your relationship that is not very good there is your relationship is not very good whatever is happening you have the eight of swords you're not seeing something very clearly about your relationships and just keep on coming back for a lot of you Gemini's because I've seen the year 2016 that a lot of you Gemini's there's a lot of stuff going on with your relationship that you weren't you weren't seen properly so you know as you look at the situation then you need to um, see whatever that has been playing and it's you know it's not going um, very well so let's look and see whatever it is with your um, relationship there is sort of a um, negative forces that are working so um, for a lot of you, you you better be careful and listen to your intuition and it has to do with a woman so um, if you are with um, if you are with a woman and uh, she's not showing up so it could be any person from any um, this this person is not 
showing up. So it could be someone, you know, it could be different people. So you Gemini's are not seeing something clearly about your relationship. So you could be with any zodiac sign because it didn't show up as uh, um, which one of the zodiac sign. But if you men are with a woman, there is a situation that is going on. It's as if this woman is working with negative energy. So you need to. Um, be aware of this woman is psychic or sensitive or very intuition so you need to be aware and and, and, and be careful with this woman uh, for the women it could be that you are you know are not clear about a certain situation with your partner so this is going to work and this is this is going to be happening um, for you guys okay so let's go forward and look the energy of justice comes up a cruelty and um, the nine of swords there's cruelty um, that has happened to you and uh, the energy of justice comes up to balance out whatever that cruelty was whatever that as injustice happened to you okay so uh, as you see justice came first the justice came out of the cruelty something that was deceptive that has happened to you and a cruelty comes out um, you felt as if you were unjustly accused of something and now justice came and balance out the situation on Tuesday on Wednesday you have the energy of the Prince of Cups and you're going to have a victorious win over the Prince of Cups whatever the situation is you're going to have a seriously um, win over the the Prince of Cups because of something that has happened and something that has transpired whatever this um, Prince of Cups is this could be someone who is between the ages of um, 25 and 45 and whatever that he has done to you or against you you are being victorious and successful over this so this is going to be wonderful this is going to be positive as we move on to Thursday if the card will come up there is a judgment call on Thursday this judgment call is going to bring you good news it's going to bring you a victory a victory and successful news whatever this judgment call is on Thursday it's going to bring you good news victory um, is coming for you and is coming to you okay so this is a very very good so you made a judgment call or there is some information that came to you or some information that you give out and um, a victorious and successful thing is going to come out on Friday you have the energy of the nine of ones the energy of the nine of ones is finding inner strength because there's a situation that you're not clear, seeing clear so whatever it is peace is coming Peace has finally come because um, this two of ones bring the energy of peace because the, the, the face is the band up. The, the, you're finally seeing something for what it is and you are finding inner strength and standing um, strong with this situation, whatever that is going on. So that is good. Best, best day is saturday you have the energy of the world and money is going to come to you whatever is happening you have the energy of the world and money is going to be coming to you so if you um were wondering on uh, the day before um the last day of the year um money will be coming to you so this is a wonderful the world with the ace of pentacles oh my god this is telling you that you know whatever is at the at this end of the year it could be a lottery win so if you are planning on buying the lottery go buy the lottery before the new year's because it's going to be a big win for some of you gemini's out there as we look at sunday the last day the 31st day last day of the year 2017 um you have a situation with an organization and um the eight of swords okay but it's in reverse so whatever that was happening with you and this organization the eight of swords is in reverse so it is good the thing about it is that it's going to be a very prosperous last week for you Gemini's because what is happening and this is what I'm seeing is that you have the eight of swords twice coming up whatever the situation that you had with an organization um, now things are going to be balanced out and this is going to be very positive so let's look at your week again um the influence the eight of swords came up twice the eight of swords came up twice so your number is going to be eight eighty eight 
8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 88, 99, 89, and 98. Okay, these are very big numbers, so um, you can pull them down because then you have 17 and then you have uh, um, 718. So it's 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 eight, you have the energy vibration of eight. So a lot of people on Saturday is going, you're going to either win Saturday or before whatever is happening you're going to win saturday or before whatever is happening okay remember there's this situation with your love um with your relationship there is a sort of a situation that is happening you have the energy of the eight of swords the eight of swords is influence um in your relationship whatever this relationship there is a woman who is their psychic woman who is getting involved with your relationship so you need to bring that to a, a stop so call upon the agents and guides and ask them to bring whatsoever and who is this person to a stop your week is going to be a week of and the ace of sword which is victory and success and you have victory and success twice because you have it on Thursday that good news is coming in here you're moving forward this moving forward is going to be um, very good because whatever is happening you are going to be working together with this king of cups to bring forward and and bring balance in your life so this is going to be wonderful and this is going to be good okay I'm working with the, um, the wisdom of the Oracle and for you guys you have unfinished synchrony there's an unfinished synchrony so whatever is happening there is something an unfinished synchrony something that needs to be um, happening and I was guided to ask about the energy of cruelty and justice the energy of cruelty and justice so let's see what is happening here with the energy of cruelty and justice because you're having an unfinished synchrony and whatever the cruelty was whatever that was happening now it's up and the energy of the star comes out okay um, it is you know it is cleared up and now the energy of the star comes out so um, you know this is good and whatever is happening um, there whatever the, the injustice was or whatever is happening there you have the energy of the lovers love is powerful in this week for all of you guys whatever is happening some of you are going to and this is why at the beginning of the week you're you you know there is a psychic there's someone there's someone who is working with negative energy and you, you need to be aware of this because what is happening is that they have been blocking and revealing in your relationship so you need to be aware of this so as I am looking forward because whatever that has happened in justice with you whatever the situation was um, um, you know a procrastinated um, drugs and alcohol abuse some of you are procrastinating and drugs and alcohol abuse whoever you are out there you need to be careful because that's why you feel as if as cruelty and this is why it's the same it's just so weird because um, it, it, I'm seeing a drugs and alcohol abuse maybe you um, drink and drive and, and this is what happened to you and you're feeling that you know it's a cruelty but yeah if you know that you should not drink and drive then you shouldn't you know that that's sort of a thing so you might see it as cruelty but you should understand that uh, um, if you're not supposed to drink and drive then you're not supposed to drink and drive I mean it's gonna cost you your life and cost somebody else's on the road your life and that is going to be on the 26th so be careful of whatever is going on out there because whatever is uncertainty confusion okay uncertainty and confusion so you know be careful of whatever is going on out there because it's saying an unfinished um, an unfinished synchronous so that me means it, there's a karmatic thing that is not finished there is the, there needs to be more um, to happen to you know finally get rid of whatever is happening because whenever the energy of the unfinished unfinished synchrony comes up it is that there is a, a lesson that you haven't to learn there is a lesson that you haven't learned so um, most of the time when this unfinished synchrony comes up whenever I see this energy for myself I'm like oh my god what 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 is it now that I haven't learned so unfinished synchrony is unfinished business an incomplete less lack of closure the need to make amends lack of closure the need to make amends and 
Um, honestly, I <laughs> I am like, yeah, sometimes when that comes up, I'm saying, really? Um, what do I need to make amends with? It's as if I'm supposed to always be the peacemaker of everything. So I, I tend to now move away from things and, you know, try, try and protect myself from a situation, okay? Movement. Movement is coming up. You have the energy of the chariot and you have this energy. So a lot of movement, a lot of transformation will be coming up. A lot of situations will be happening. So movement is coming up and it says a change is happening. Um, so be um, prepared to move physically or spiritually. Sometimes if you're not moving physical, sometimes you're moving because you're going um, in this week to places to visit people and that sort of a thing. So um, expect to move um, physically, okay? Um, I did this wrongly, but it, it, it doesn't really matter, okay? I'm asking the psychic tarot what messages does the psychic tarot have for you guys? Oh, and you have a fulfillment of wishes in the reverse form. Hmm. So, whatever is happening, your wishes are going to be fulfilled. It could be in the reverse form for some people, but um, whatever is happening, know that your dreams and wishes will be fulfilled. Okay, this is in a reverse form. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I want to say thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you. I hope I'll see you next year. And I want to say Namaste until next time.